Dave and Lynette, Kinston Police Chief Alonzo James says last night's fatal shooting of Alton McKnight is their first homicide of 2017, but he says one homicide is one too many. And while officers are working to track down the shooter, he says they're also working to show the community that they're all in this together. Just after noon on Tuesday, law enforcement officers, community members, and church leaders came together by holding hands, praying. In the name of Jesus, we lift up the McKnight family. And singing. Victory today is mine. But the 400 block of Tiffany Street in Kinston was a completely different scene on Monday night. A lot of blue lights, they had it blocked off. So I jumped out of the van and ran to my mama's house, but she said it wasn't me. She said it was Alton. He had been shot. Kinston Police Chief Alonzo James says 37 year old Alton McKnight pictured here was shot just after 645 PM while inside a car outside of this home. He died on the scene from gunshot wounds. He loved the kids. He played with the kids, buy them candy, throw them dollars and you know that he was like Santa Claus to him. They just loved him. Everybody around here loved him. He was very nice and giving. He looked out for everybody. It was somebody that will always be there for you. Like many others, Linda Rodriguez and Reginald Cannon reflect on the life of their friend, who they say was a devoted family man and a beloved community member. He's going to be missed. He's a good guy. He's going to be missed. Chief Jane says they do not take these incidents lightly and they're working to bring justice to whoever did this. We will um, do everything we can in, in our power to uh, identify the person responsible for this uh, horrific um, incident. Chief Jane says they're now working to follow up on leads, but they need your help. If you saw something last night or you have some information that could lead to an arrest, he asks that you please give them a call. Reporting live in Kinston, I'm Mackenzie Roberts, WITN News. All right, thanks, Mackenzie. And you can find the number for the Kinston Police Department and Crime Stoppers on our website at WITN.com.